Hi everyone, my name is Robert Grant and I'm welcoming you to the Language of Light course series. It's a uh, delegate ele uh, elective series that is on the Residence Foundation and Academy. And I'm looking forward to launching this program again. Uh, for those of you that already taken the course, which it, it is a required curriculum that you've already taken the course, uh, Etymology of Number, you know that in that course series, we really dove deeply into many areas uh, of mathematics and physics and geometry and several other areas as well, including mysticism and esotericism. And uh, over the last several months, many of you have seen, those of you that are on the, uh, the Facebook page have seen a lot of my work that's continued to be emerging uh, very rapidly. In fact, it's, it's kicked up a few notches in, uh, in the productivity that's been coming out. And so I wanted to, uh, continue this series because many of you requested that we continue it and keep going on with it and that I can kind of take you through some of the latest discoveries. Uh, you may have noticed that we did publish some of the work from the last series uh, that was related to prime numbers and the discovery we had of quasi prime numbers and uh, we're excited very soon to be publishing another paper uh, that will really represent potentially the first uh, unified mathematics uh, theory uh, that could actually marry the disparate worlds of physics, uh, the strong and weak force um, uh, sort of controversy that's existed in physics that Einstein tried to bridge the gap on for many, many years, uh, needs to have a theory that is grounded in mathematics, and there must be a unified mathematical theory to back up any viable unified physics theory. So we're very excited about uh, our work on the mathematical constants, and what we have learned and the discovery that we've made that they emanate out of wave propagations and overlapping wave propagations. So we're really, really thrilled uh, to be able to bring that to the world. And uh, a lot of that was also found uh, in relation to the work that was done uh, over the Christmas holidays last year, uh, in particular related to the prime number discovery and the quasi prime discovery. So all of it embeds into the same structures of the uh, Icosi tetragon or the 24 hour clock. And we're gonna be deeply diving into that uh, as an advanced course series. So this advanced course series is intended for those of you that have already taken the course and really wanted to learn more about uh, this language of light and this language of numbers where the constants act as verbs of action and where the numbers themselves act like words and the syntax is organized in sentences uh, around geometry. Uh, as well as circles and the geometry that embeds within that, ranging from uh, triangles all the way up to all the way up to very complex geometries, 57-sided polygons uh, in two dimensions, and then in three dimensions, taking it all the way up to very complex third-dimensional polyhedra. So we're going to be going through all of that, uh, and then its implication to the flower of life, and never leaving behind either the artistic element that is necessary uh, to really embody. And one of the things that Walter Russell said, I had a call this morning with Matt Presti, who's the president of Walter Russell's university. And he was quoting to me that Walter Russell had said that every uh, learning that comes uh, from sort of cosmic awareness or consciousness must embody itself in an artistic expression and form. And uh, that really stuck with me. And so that's something that I have really believed. and. I have uh, taken to heart this expression of art uh, in relation to the mathematical endeavors. So we really look forward to having you join us as we deeply dive into uh, the mysteries that come along with numbers and start to decipher this language of light so that all of us can actually use it better. And one thing that I can say for certain is that uh, taking this course will have a profound impact on your own consciousness and how you think and how you perceive both mathematics and the world around you. And I think that's a very, very uh, exciting and uh, it's a very exciting area for us because we look at this and we wanna make sure that our work has impact. That's why we're doing it. Uh, otherwise, we just keep it all to ourselves, but we, we want to share this with, with you so that it, it can advance your conscious awareness, so that it can advance your thinking around mathematics and also, that will teach mathematics in a way, uh, even at this advanced level, that you can visualize how it interacts and creates geometry, how you can visualize how it interacts with the world around you uh, to create wave propagations. And so you can visualize as well uh, what that means for uh, ancient symbologies, as well as 
uh, you know, what we're facing in the world today with the extreme polarities that we face. And not many people would think that the answer lies in mathematics, but I believe that uh, unified physics is very much emblematic of what we're seeing in the world of this extreme polarization, that you have kind of two schools of thought in unified physics and that never the twain shall meet. But actually with a unified mathematical theory that is now rapidly emerging, and we invite you to join us on this very exciting endeavor, uh, that these disparate worlds in a physics sense uh, can be unified and that these disparate worlds in a philosophical sense likewise can be unified. So one of the things I just wanted to show you uh, that we will be going through in the course is something I worked on just last night. And this is, uh, you probably recognize the flower of life, but I've applied numerical patterns to this uh, as they spiral out. And this of course does relate as well to the same stuff that is uh, where we found the discovery of prime numbers and the mathematical constants and this overlap of the uh, of the wave propagations and that causes the mathematical constants to emerge, it really creates a beautiful symphony. Um, so as we do this, we're going to be drawing from history, just as we did in the first course series. We'll be drawing from history. You'll be learning with me, uh, in some cases on a real-time basis, on the latest, uh, most significant discoveries that we're making. Uh, I have a small team. I work very closely as well with the team at Taurus Tech and the Sim Hermain as well as uh, the rest of his team, uh, John Wiesel uh, and Scott Brown and Amira Valbacher and, and several of people, William Brown, et cetera, that are working over there. But we also have lots of other people that we work with uh, at universities, uh, meeting tomorrow with Menas Kafados, who's a, a world-renowned physicist and leads the quantum physics group at Chapman University. Uh, and as well, uh, Daniela Strupa, who's the CEO of Chapman University and I met just last week with, uh, with a friend and colleague um, who I'm an investor in her company, and that is a great company called NanoBioSim that I think has the potential to change the world. And she's the founder of the company, and it really is sort of the real Theranos. It works. And this is a, a very exciting uh, place to be starting from. She's a nanobiophysicist from Harvard uh, Medical School. Um, and, and she's a physicist and a biologist, which is a, a rare combination, and she's very good at mathematics too. So we've been bouncing these discoveries and, uh, and, and sort of new approaches to both mathematics and unified math and geometry and music and wave theory and electromagnetism. Uh, and all of these things are emanating out as well in work product. Uh, I just received word just last week that uh, I got yet another patent on uh, basically uh, mathematical combinatorics using digital root math to be able to decipher DNA uh, as well as determine their resonance frequency with, from a simple count of protons. It's a very simple count of protons of the nucleotide pairings. And this is really exciting because we also received a patent not long ago on being able to titrate and modulate phenotypic expression, which includes all the diseases that you face uh, as, a, as a human being, uh, as well as the things you may not like about uh, yourself. Um, as you look in the mirror, uh, you, know, you may not like how tall you are. And I'm not saying anyone should change that, but, but the fact that we could manipulate DNA in very positive ways to rid the planet of some of the suffering that, that the planet has been facing uh, is another area of, of extreme excitement for us. So we invite you on this journey into mathematics, into the world of mystery. Uh, it's a, a black box for a lot of people because it's taught as a black box at universities. And, and what we try to do is teach it in a way that will make math easy and fun for you and you'll be able to contextualize it so that this sort of course series will have a real benefit to you in your day-to-day -day life, not just in, in sort of uh, your contemplation moments or meditation moments when you're trying to contemplate the meaning of the universe and why we're all here. This should be a practical application for you and hopefully we'll teach you as well how to uh, be able to get access to these kinds of discoveries, not through learning from others, but through autodidaction. And autodidaction is a, is a fundamental part of what all the great philosophers and polymaths were able to utilize. And uh, you know, if you think about the world before there was a pi, before there was a phi that we knew in conscious awareness, 
these great minds had to figure out what those things were and discover them. And many of them were people not too unlike you and me. So the fact that people can discover these things and they're not taught these things in school and they now become the reason why they're taught in schools uh, is something that I think could have a, a very, very profound impact, not only on the world, but on your personal life. So with that, we invite you to this journey into the language of light and its implications for the universe, for unified physics, for unified mathematics that underpins that unified physics theory. And as well, we invite you on a spiritual path uh, as you try to understand and discern what these things mean for you personally as you go throughout life. Thank you very much, and we'll look forward to seeing you on the series.